Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope your week is off to a great start. Okay, today I want to chat about the two biggest workout mistakes that are going to prevent you from seeing results. I had to hop on and chat about this today because in Feel for Fat Loss, this is the very first time that we are actually bringing workouts to the forefront in our group. Um, And the reason why we're doing this is because I know when you guys follow a strategic plan, you're going to see fantastic results. And I still see so many people out there making common mistakes. So today I want to prevent you from making these common mistakes and give you my very, very best tips. Um, And by the way, I still maintain that when it comes to your results, you still want to be dialing in your food first. If if you haven't got your food 100% dialed in yet, don't even look at your workouts. Get your food to where it needs to be and then when you're ready and only when you're ready, that's when you can add your workouts in. If you're just tuning in, thank you so much for watching. My name is Simone Lovell and I'm the creator of Feel for Fat Loss and I've been getting a ton of questions about when the next round of Feel for Fat Loss starts and we haven't made registration date announcements yet. So we're going to be doing that this Thursday. So stay tuned for that. I'm very excited about next round. Um, But we do have three spots left in VIP and that starts this Saturday. VIP is basically if you've done two rounds of Feel for Fat Loss and you want more, you want to take things to the next level, continue working on your fat loss and and your health goals, this is where you get new workouts using our app. You also get a new menu plan with macro balanced meals and recipes. Next month, we're going to be adding sauces in to the mix. We have three new healthy sauces that you can add to your meals because with sauces, you can actually go wrong very, very quickly and sabotage your macros very, very quickly. So I wanted to give you some healthy sauces that are going to change the taste of your your salads and your macro, or your, your bowls, um, or basically any meal just by 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 giving it a different sauce, a different flavor. So that's coming next month, as well as skin. We're gonna be talking about skin next month and helping you glow from the inside out because skin is an inside job. It all starts with your food and fueling your body with specific foods that are going to help your skin glow and shine. And we're gonna be eliciting the help of Dr. Terry Van Elstein, our in-house naturopathic doctor next month in VIP as well. So, so excited about VIP. Okay. Let's chat, and I'll post a link in the comments below. Um, Let's chat about working out. When it comes to working out, first and foremost, you need to have a strategy. You need to have a plan. If you do not, this is going to just set you up for failure. You need to know in advance which days you're going to be working out, which days you're going to be taking rest days. You need to know which days you're going to be doing cardio, which days you're going to be doing strength. Um, And you need to put it in the calendar. I, I see so many people just kind of going about their week and just, oh, okay, it's, it's time for a workout. I feel like a run today, or I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm just going to copy what someone else is doing at the gym. Have you ever done that before? I've actually done that before. <laughs> but you know, you need to go in with a plan. That is the best way to achieve results. And in Feel for Fat Loss and VIP, we are very strategic with a plan. And I'm going to share exactly what we do with you because this is the what I've found over the last 21 years of, of implementing um, a calendar with clients. This is the best weekly calendar that I have found that works. So Monday, we have body weight cardio. This is where we have um, uh, exercises like push-ups, squats, lunges, sit-ups. Uh, There's a core focus on Monday as well. We implement strategies like Tabata, ladders, crazy eights. We did dirty dozen yesterday. So cutting edge strategies that are always going to shock your body into burning more calories. Tuesday, we have interval cardio. So this is, and I'm actually going to talk about interval training in a second. I'll leave that for now. Wednesday, we have arms is where we add strength training into our week. Thursday, we have back and glutes or back and booty. We also have um, a booty band that we have in VIP, which I absolutely am obsessed with. Um, Now, Friday and Sunday, really important, we have rest days or active recovery days. 
This is key, and I'm going to talk about that in a second as well. Saturday, we have my very favorite day of the entire week, and that is leg day. Leg day is when we go, just we push just a little bit harder. And this um, is also where we have a treat day in VIP, and it, it, it allows us to justify that treat day very easily because we're pushing hard with a big muscle group, our legs. Okay, so first and foremost, having a calendar and having a strategy is really important. Now here are the two biggest workout mistakes that I see over and over again. Number one, overtraining and not taking rest days. Many of us still believe that the only way to achieve results is to rack up our schedule each week with spin classes and strength training classes um, or hours and upon hours at the gym. But this is simply not the case. In fact, in order to achieve great results, oftentimes less is more. And that's where all the research is at right now. Um, our workouts in, in Feel for Fat Loss and VIP are around 20 to 30 minutes in length, but we're using those cutting edge strategies to ensure that you never ever plateau. Um, we also have two rest days per week, and I need to stress this. Many of us who are working out um, and racking up our schedules with all these classes are not taking rest days. You need to have at least, depending on what your workouts are, two rest days per week. Two rest days per week, super important. Um, and this is going to, to allow your body to, to rest. You can do active recovery on those days. You could do yoga, you could do some light walking or maybe a hike. Um, but overtraining is going to lead to all sorts of health problems, including things like adrenal fatigue or a damaged thyroid. And when you have adrenal fatigue or damaged thyroid, this will cause you, by the way, to have zero energy. So you will not be able to crush your workouts in the same way. And if you want results, you need to be able to crush your workouts. And secondly, these things can lead to weight gain as well. So really important to be taking those rest days every single week. And in um, Feel for Fat Loss and VIP, we take them on Friday. Friday and Sunday. Okay, the second biggest workout mistake that I see over and over again is people doing cardio and only cardio. And again, racking up their schedule with jogging and running and spin classes. Here's the thing, if you're just starting out with your workout routine, then walking or some light jogging is totally okay. Just to, to kind of kickstart this healthy lifestyle of yours. I'm, I, I love that and I'm all over it and I still love a good walk or a good hike. Um, but this will not be helpful for long-term results and it certainly won't be helpful in keeping you injury free. Um, the problem with doing only cardio and cardio, cardio and only cardio is that you will eventually plateau and stop seeing uh, results. So first off with cardio, you wanna be sure that you're implementing interval training. And this is something that we do throughout Feel for Fat Loss and VIP and interval training is those periods of high intensity versus periods of low intensity versus periods of rest. And your heart rate is basically doing this. And what's going to happen is you're going to shock your body into burning more calories. It will never know what to expect. Those days of going for a run and maintaining your heart rate for the full 60 minutes, it, those days are done because you will plateau and in fact you're going to start seeing negative results and possibly even gain weight over time. So you need to shock your body into burning more calories. Also you need to add strength training and lifting weights into your routine. Strength training or lifting weights into your routine. Why? Um, because you're going to burn a ton more calories and you're going to stay injury free. We're going to be building up your core strength. We're going to be building up your back strength so you have better posture. Um, if if you are a runner, then you're going to be building up your knee strength so that you never ever um, injure yourself, your knees or your hips again. Um, with strength training or lifting weights, you're going to burn an extra 25% more calories after your workout than if you did cardio. So cardio, you burn your calories and that's it. Strength training, you're going to continue to burn calories for the next 72 hours and you're going to burn 25% more calories. That's a crazy amount of calories. Also, for every three pounds of muscle that you build, and that's just replacing that muscle from fat in the body, you're not getting bigger, bulky. You're gonna burn an ex, or you, yeah, you're gonna burn an extra 120 calories per day lying on the couch doing nothing. For every three pounds of muscle that you build, you're gonna burn an extra 120 calories per day lying on the couch doing nothing. That is super, super motivating to me. Um, so, <clears throat> bottom line. 
Two biggest workouts mistakes is overtraining and not taking those rest days, racking up your schedule with hours and hours in a gym each week, um, or, or racking up your schedule with classes. And the second thing is doing cardio and only cardio. This is not going to serve you in terms of, of, of your health, in terms of your best physical strength, and especially in terms of your fat loss. Um, so a, a quick reminder, check in with my stories on Instagram because each day I do put workouts on there. Um, I also show you variations for those workouts as well. So low intensity versus high intensity, how to do a push up, how to take it down to your knees, for example, um, if you need an option or how to make it even harder. So check out stories on Instagram. I've also got new recipes on a regular basis there as well and other fat loss tips. All right, so I hope that this has been just a little bit helpful. Um, keep in mind that you do not need to do more in order to get results. In fact, doing less can give you better results. And again, 20 to 30 minutes per day, five days a week, taking those rest days, but using strategic planning and making sure you always have a plan going into your routine is going to set you up for success. All right, you guys, I want to wish you a fantastic, healthy day. Again, if you're interested in VIP, you've done two rounds of Feel for Fat Loss, I'll put a link in the comments below. I want to wish you a fantastic, healthy day. Bye.